Let's talk about how to get medium coverage with Saint Beauty brushes. This is a 3D foundation tutorial and I am using the 3D brush and the blush bronzer brush. These are my two favorite brushes for medium coverage. So I'm taking the pointy end of the 3D brush and I'm going in with my color correction shade first. Now I decided to kind of play around with my colors a little bit this morning and I'm using lighter color than I normally do so I used amber as my color correction on my chin and around my nose and now I'm using my same ash contour as my contour shade this is my favorite shade I don't think I'll ever veer away from ash it's so universally perfect I just love it and I'm applying it on my forehead and then under my jaw and I'm using the flat end of the 3d brush to apply my contour because I've lost all of my summer tan, I decided to apply Sunlit as my all over bridge shade of foundation. After applying it, I think it might be a little bit too light still for me, but I thought I would just give it a go. And I like it for this tutorial because you're able to really see the foundation well. Um, and I just apply it with the pointy end of this 3D brush. And I go in with a light hand, but I apply it just kind of all over filling in the gaps where it needs to be applied. And I just stipple it in with some blending at the same time. Sunlit looks really, 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 really yellow in the pan, but if it's a good color match for you, it's gonna go on your skin like the most gorgeous color and make your skin look even and bright. It's so pretty. I love Love it as my brightener, which is probably what I'm going to go back to. I'm probably going to go back to using amber as my all over and then sunlit as my brightener. But for this tutorial, I'm using it as my all over foundation shade. So then I just flip over the brush and blend a little bit with the flat end. And now I'm using the shade Versailles as my brightening shade. Again, I'm playing around with my colors. I do think it's a little bit too light, but I can definitely make it work. So I'm just applying it on the inner corner and then to my eyelid and then blending it. I'm not applying, a, I'm not applying very much product at all. So after really looking at myself in the mirror, I was like, you know what, this is too light under my eyes. And I decided to go back in with amber and just apply a very light layer of amber around my eye area and then using a little bit of amber to just kind of blend out everything and it's so much better. I'm really, really pleased with that shade for my skin tone. Now I'm taking the blush bronzer brush and I'm tapping into my bronzer. I actually have Bella and Tan Lines bronzer next to each other and I kind of swirl into both. Our bronzer, if, especially if you are in between shades of foundation, our bronzer is gonna be such a game changer for you because it really just evens out your skin. It gives a nice warm glow to the skin so like today I feel like my bra I feel like my foundation is a little bit too light because I was playing around with colors so the bronzer just takes care of that and it gives me the warmth that I want to my skin and the blush bronzer brush just makes it so so simple I applied some eyeliner and mascara off camera and now I'm tapping into my lip and cheek shade, my blush shade, using the blush bronzer brush. I really love Madrid. It's such a universally gorgeous color and I love Boardwalk for a nice glossy nude on my lips. Now I'm taking the 3D brush again, that pointy end, just tapping in a little bit to my contour and contouring under my lip a little bit. I just think that this does a great job of plumping out my lip just slightly. I really like doing that. And now the very final step is really important. It's setting spray on your perfecter sponge, going around the eye area, going around the forehead, the nose, the mouth, and removing excess makeup. I can't express how important this step is. Thanks for joining me for this medium coverage tutorial. All the details of everything that I use will be in the description of this video.